Professor Wyman here again with the Psych 42 survey. And I'm gonna go down to our section on stress. So in your in your uh, in that folder for the project, I did give a, a description of this measure. Um, so this is a the perceived stress scale is a pretty common measure of stress, but this is a short version. Uh, and so I gave you a little paragraph on it. And what we're going to do is we want the response options to range from never to very often. Uh, and because that's going to be the same for all of our questions, we're going to keep it in the same block. And we are going to just make one question and then copy it multiple times so that we can just fill in the, the question itself. Um, so I'm going to add a question. These are going to be multiple choice. I could theoretically do this linear scale and then it would give me a number. Um, the problem is that then the scale doesn't have a, a, a level, a word worded level for each of the levels of the variable. So it would just say from zero to four and then zero and four be labeled, but not the in-between. And I want the wording there because I want to be consistent with the scale. So I am going to use the multiple choice option. Um, so for this, the first question is, actually, I'll go ahead and I'll just fill in the options first. So never would be equal to zero, but we can add that later. We can add that on the data cleaning side. We're going to say almost never is our next option. Sometimes, oops. And then fairly often, and very often. So I don't wanna make up my own, which is called anchors. I don't wanna make up my own anchors. They've been validated and so I wanna leave it that way. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make a copy. And the way that I do that is there's this little double pages duplicate right here. I'm gonna click on it and it duplicated it. So I have four questions for the short form of the uh, perceived stress scale. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it again. And I'm gonna copy it again. And now I can just go ahead and copy in the question. And I am gonna add a description here and say, please respond. Oops, I put this in the wrong section. Please respond to the below questions on stress. Uh, and you can see that I, I moved things around incorrectly. So nice thing is that I can just move this. I'm gonna go ahead and say, um, I could move my questions so I could pull the question and, and move it up like this do something like that for all four of them. Um, but instead, I'm just gonna move this. So I'm gonna say move section and I'm gonna move it below depression. So I'm gonna grab it, click and hold and just pull it down and save. And then I'll just rename it. Um, so it's going to depend on if you notice that later on, it just depends on how many questions you have on there, if it's worth, um, you know, what the best option is. So we'll say this is renamed as stress. Please respond to the questions below on your stress levels. And I'm just going to change this one to depression. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and again, copy in my questions. So my first question, copy and paste. And, and you can edit the font and things if you want to. Um, we'll talk about this in class, but you'll notice that this question is worded differently. So this is a reverse scored question. I'm not going to put that in the note though. So that's a note on the the form or the doc that you have access to, but I don't want that to be in the actual question. And same for this one. This is also reverse scored. And 
And our last question here. There we go. And then I can set this up in the attached um, Google Sheet, the linked Google Sheet to calculate a score based on their responses. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I will add in depression and then I'll come back for the thank you and debrief and then a final video just on launching the survey.